Humanistic psychology is a relatively new field of psychology. It was founded by Abraham Maslow and Carl Rogers, two psychotherapists who were unsatisfied with the psychodynamic method of therapy. Rogers and Maslow believed that the Freudian and biology-based models of treating mental illness were insufficient. These models both worked with patients under the mindset that they were sick or malignant in some way. Instead, Rogers and Maslow promoted treating their clients as humans first, not patients. Maslow summarized the theoretical foundation of humanism. Humans' inner nature seems not to be intrinsically or primarily or necessarily evil. Since this inner nature is good or neutral rather than bad, it is best to bring it out and encourage it rather than to suppress it. If it is permitted to guide our life, we grow healthy, fruitful, and happy. If this essential core of the person is denied or suppressed, the person gets sick. Humanistic psychology focuses on three key features, client-centered therapy, genuineness, and unconditional positive regard. Client-centered therapy was pioneered by Carl Rogers. The therapy requires a therapist to display empathy and see life through their client's eyes. During talk therapy sections, therapists often use reflection techniques to mirror clients' feelings back to them. For example, a therapist may repeat back a phrase that their client said word for word to clarify the meaning of the phrase. Unconditional positive regard is simply appreciating a client for who they are and withholding critical judgments. A humanistic therapist will accept their client, no matter what they bring into the therapy session. Finally, genuineness requires a therapist to care about their client's well-being. Instead of presenting a brooding facade, humanistic therapists should speak with their clients in the same manner as a good friend. These key tenets of humanism have been integrated with other forms of therapy, and most modern-day therapists claim that humanism has influenced their practice. Buddhist techniques are commonly used by humanist therapists to encourage clients' potential. The most used practice is mindfulness meditation, an exercise that utilizes yoga poses, breathing techniques, and a focusing of attention on the present moment. Humanism has been so influential that it has even spawned another field of therapy, existential therapy, which is based on confronting the anxiety presented by the natural world head on.